The world of Tevat is way too vast and beautiful to only explore once. Many travelers have set out their journeys more than once, and I am included in those stats. The game really just compels you to make weird decisions like these, however, it is not one I regret. During the first two hours, I felt like I was enjoying the game all over again. Even after playing the game twice over and almost a third time over, it felt refreshing. The moment you set foot on the sandy shores, you begin to hear the beautiful sounds, you get to see the gorgeous scenes and familiarize yourself with the, how the energy of the game is going to go. The moment you touch the animal statue to the moment you touch the Ligue one, from the very first chest you discover to the multiple other chests you unlock after hunting Hilly Charles, the beginning way more fun than the end game. Well, in the beginning, it felt like the game had more love and thought to it. Even though newer characters seem to be improving all the time and the regions get more creative with their puzzle making, for some reason the beginning of the game just hits differently, has a different type of magic, and allows the player to have a different sense of enjoyment, a relaxing adventure with so much ahead. The beginning of the game gives you immediate access two major regions, being both Mondstadt and Liyue. Sure, the game now you could even head to Sumeru, but you wouldn't benefit too much without completing the Archon quest. Not to mention you have a whole adventures handbook filled with things you can accomplish and goals to complete. With immediate tasks that seem to be extra rewarding, the game makes it feel like even though you can move at your own pace, the goals set are ones that objectively make the most sense. And it usually has to do with your character leveling up and the amount of things you collect to the Archon quest and the story quest that you have to do. The entire game is like that anyway. But with your very first chance at whatever it is that you do, whether it's discovering chests, whether it's doing the story quests, you can go on your own pace. Not to mention, with your first chance that the gacha goes either well or awry, it didn't feel like it mattered that much to me. I wanted to continue on my journey, punish any hilly churl in my way, and pay to me a visit every now and again. This sounds a little repetitive after the first two times, but it still felt like a sweet breeze, a gentle and polite touch of your skin. <laughs> That's when I realized that it's the amount of things that you can do however you want to do them is lost when you complete most of the objectives in the end game. You start to lose sight of what is enjoyable after being a slave to the resin and the daily you complete. You want to be thrown into a Genshin in which the end game allows you to go forwards and not necessarily backwards. Here, the events that lead you to the old regions such as the upcoming lantern ride event have enjoyment to them but it feels like we are always taking a step back and revisiting what has been visited. I want to see a Genshin Impact world in which we can get lost in the Monstar once again but in a new region with brand new characters we have never heard of and with the intent in finishing everything within that region before we are able to make a return to the more accustomed regions we have now. It's just my thoughts as I started this journey, and although it wasn't really a progress video that I wanted to make, it was an emotional blast to the past, and I felt like sharing that with you all. I know Genshin has changed, and a lot of things are not the same as it was, but it has grown, and we've grown alongside it. And it makes sense why Genshin isn't the same as it was. Things like new characters make you play the game a little bit more differently than you would in the past. And you have way more options now. But it felt like a little weird not having that ability to just explore and do anything. And that would lead you to somewhere else. That would lead you to do something else. And then suddenly you want to do everything at once. And that's just the feeling I got from playing the first two hours. Obviously, you could go back and watch, you know, all the cool clips from the videos that I made in the past. 
and then I would call it a day. But playing a new account, seeing all the old characters, and looking at all the cinematics that I've seen in the past, once again, gave me a little sweet taste. And I felt like we really do miss that type of thing. Genshin hasn't really made a fight like the Duvalin one, even though it was very easy, again, in, like, now. And I felt like that's a missed opportunity for Genshin Impact. And I feel like if they made more boss fights that have that initial intensity to it <laughs> with the Devalin one, where you get, you know, swooped up in the tornado and suddenly you have to battle it out using the powers of a god, you would feel that way too. And I really do miss that feeling that I got from playing the first two hours and then playing a little bit more afterwards. The whole aspect of I have so much to do, but not enough time to do it. And I feel like the end game loses that. We have the Spiral Abyss, and that's pretty much it. We have the TCG, we have the whatever, but it's just not there. I'm not saying that we should have a specific thing in which you can fully test out your characters. I'm not saying that's what it, we should have. But we should have way more variety in the terms of how they did Genshin in the past now. Cool boss fights. The interest in getting to know everything and everyone is sort of lost. At least to me in the end game. And I really do miss that feeling. But even though that is what I have felt. And I know there are exciting stuff that are to come. New characters. New regions. The whole Fontaine going to be coming soon. I'm sure I will enjoy that a lot. But I'm not sure I will ever enjoy Genshin as much as I enjoy it at the beginning of it. And I'm... Even though that is unfortunate, that is the case with a, a lot of games with the live service, right? You get the updates, the weekly updates, and it gives you something to look forward to, but it never hit and never has the amount of magic the beginning does. But yeah, that is going to be pretty much it. Thank you guys for watching. If you liked the video, please like it. And if you want to watch more, head on to the next video I have. It's pretty entertaining to me, at least. Watch me ramble more on why i'll hate them will not be joining my roster on my main account at least maybe this account will be lucky enough to have i'll hate them team but yeah thank you and i'll see you guys in the next video bye bye killer object was very rare what would you like it was a vial which contained the animal god's breath relics come in every shape and form huh Anyone with an eye for fine art would like to add this relic to their collection. Once word got out, the Fatui started trying to seek it out as well. They've made tons of counterfeits that can be found everywhere. In response, I just bought everyone I could find, irrespective of its authenticity. We're still at it now. I've bought more than 2,000 fakes to date, and the Fatui are yet to find the real one. Alright, so we finished uh, the little nitty gritties with, with the four temples, we finished that. And after we did that, we claimed our quick little adventure rank stuff. We didn't really get much, but what we did get is access to all of these gems thanks to like winning, uh, you know, grand awards or whatever for PlayStation. And now we have enough for a premium wish. Uh, which we will be conducting we'll be we'll be doing this so i know this isn't the best banner to do it on but i think i want to do it anyways and we'll see if we can get a five star pretty quick and if we don't it's okay we get some four star stuff and we do not get a five star but we get a goro which we will absolutely never use but uh yeah we do get some refinements for the weapon that i currently am using and we get a few more chances at the uh at the wish so we can get like three of these and we can pretty much like throw them all in here now we can do like the uh the wishes like one by one is collect them until i have seven more and we can go full out for now uh